So this is our very, very, very first view of actual lava. It's hot, red and bubbling. ourselves that we would definitely definitely not film the room after we moved in because with the bags and stuff and when you actually stop on the road it's so nice to have a luxurious double room so we've arrived at a hostel Azul in Granada town and we have a beautiful double room take a look at this it's got a lovely double bed really bouncy mattress it passed the test then you have a fan on the side there and a fan above your head so you've got everything you need. It's absolutely luxurious to, to the tea. So some hostels, when you get a private room, you get an ensuite. The situation here is we actually have um, a shared bathroom and shower, really lovely, powerful shower, lovely clean bathrooms just around the corner. The cleaner here is amazing and is on it at all times. Uh, we've got a lovely palm filled courtyard style garden. In fact, the, the houses that we've noticed in Granada is that actually you go into the front door and then they have like a big courtyard with living areas around the courtyard. So I'm assuming this is for a family setup, but we really like this. It's really nice. It creates a super, super private area for each hostel. And um, we're happy here. It's got a lovely breakfast. We either have a savory breakfast or a sweet breakfast uh, with a double room. And it's 14 pounds a night, which is great. It's seven pounds each, um, including that breakfast. So that's super, super cheap really, and works well with our budget. hostel is the communal areas because we can talk and we can meet new people and generally they have some really nice chill areas so you can go off and relax or read a book and here they've got the most humongous hammocks they're big enough for two people and they're super safe and comfy a really good bonus to this hostel so the base of each hostel is the front desk and reception desk and like all hostels, they are the center point to find out about any trips, any tours, and you also find out whether they do activities on a daily basis. Most hostels have some kind of setup, and here is no different, and you will definitely love it here. So we have left the hostel and we are heading to the Messiah Volcano to apparently see a beautiful sunset and lava for the first time ever. I have never seen lava before. Uh, it's a tour from arranged from the hostel, 20 US dollars per person. But the advantage of doing it this way is that they drive you the whole way there and there is no walking involved, which today we feel happy about. And you get to travel with us.
So after a half an hour's drive, we have arrived at the car park at the volcano of Masaya. And you can actually <laughs> smell, you can smell the burning. Oh, she's sulfur. sneezing, sulfur. the sulfur. You can smell it as soon as you come out of the car. Um, so yeah, let's go and have a look. Beautiful place to come and visit. Well worth the trip. So, one of the bonuses and privileges that I found in um, our life now as being part of Tread the Globe is we're actually later on this evening um, in about 40 minutes going to be live in Malaysia with a media class. Um, our friend of ours called Sean who we met diving on a beautiful island in Mabul is a international teacher and he teaches media studies so in about 40 minutes we're going to be having a chat to his students and I'm really excited and feel thoroughly privileged to be part of this. So we're just Absolutely. getting ready, aren't we? We are. For our live chat in Malaysia, all the way from Nicaragua. <laughs> so as I mentioned earlier in our video, we have had the absolute pleasure of being able to chat live to some guys in Malaysia in a media class. So meet the guys in Malaysia. They're gonna introduce themselves <laughs> and where they're from. Woohoo! So we're from Montreal International School and this is our multimedia class. We had a lovely chat with Chris and Mary. Chris and Mary. They've been helping us make our vlogs here in Kale. Yeah, wow. good job guys. That's lovely. Thank you so much. And let's have a wave. Woohoo! <laughs> That's amazing. Are we gonna win? So we've left our hostel and we've come to another hostel for a quiz night. To represent? To represent Hostel Azul. And the team name is, Denise, what is the team name? Azul Luz Azul. How do you say that? Cut! Cut! Azul Luz. Oh. 